Chip, uh, I am noticing one more email button that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, what happens if you click Archive? So this is kind of a pet peeve of mine because Archive is a fantastic function, and yet I think it's very confusingly named because mm. there are three different tools in Outlook called Archive. Oh. So let's talk about this one first, then we'll talk about the other two. What I love about the Archive button is Remember we talked about inbox zero, mm -hmm. how you want to get rid of all the messages in your inbox so they're out of your way, they're not stressing you out, so you know at a glance what's important and what hasn't been Start processed. Start a day on a fresh slate, yep. That's right. So this is my email account, and you know we talked about how you can add folders, mm -hmm. and in a lot of cases you have folders for specific projects or specific categories, so I have a folder called accounting, I have a folder called clever text, a mm -hmm. folder called clients, and so on. And so any of these emails that belong in a certain folder. So for example, this Pedro Rocha email, this belongs in development. I can drag it over to development and it's out of my inbox. Right. But sometimes there are emails that don't need to go in a specific folder. You do need to keep them, so you don't want to just delete them. Right. But uh, they don't need to be in your inbox anymore either. Mm. So what I used to do is I used to create a folder called archive. And that's just kind of my generic here's where I put all the stuff that doesn't need to go in another folder folder. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, Outlook started giving us its own archive folder. So let me twirl up my inbox. And here we have archive with the big A. Oh, okay. And the great thing about this is now it's part of this archive function at the top. So if I have an email selected, so let's select this Pedro Rocha email. If I choose the big A archive, boom, it's gone. It's out of my inbox. And it's just moved to this special folder called archive. Oh, okay. Which seems like a really simple thing. But having that sort of one-click access to do it is really handy. It's a great way to get it out of your inbox, out of your site, but still know that it's available when you do a search. Uh, it's still available if you need to browse through that archive folder and so on. I assume you can set up a rule that can send it to the archive too? You can. So it treats it like a regular folder, so you can create a rule or a sweep rule that will move certain emails to your archive folder. Great. Now, what it doesn't do is it doesn't save you space in your inbox. So you tend to have a certain amount of inbox space, and it's a huge amount. With Office 365 nowadays, it's 25 gigs or 50 gigs, could be 100 gigs or more. For most people, that's almost an unlimited amount of space. Right, especially if you don't have huge attachments. That's right. But you might be running out of space. Some people do. There's also an advantage to moving some of these emails out of your main data file into another data file, just because then when you're syncing a new phone or syncing a new computer, it doesn't have to bring in all of those emails. Gotcha. And so Outlook has two older functions that are both also called Archive uh, that will do something similar. So with Office 365, the newer one, is down here at the bottom, you'll notice that I have a section called In Place Archive. And underneath this, I actually have duplicates of all of the same folders, so Inbox, Accounting, Archive, Clever, Look up here, I've got Inbox, Accounting, Archive, Clever. Mm. What it's doing is it's automatically moving my emails to the in-place archive, which is also sometimes called the online archive because you know two names are better than one, based on certain policies. And I can actually right-click on a folder. So if I go back up here and right-click on my Inbox, for example, and choose Assign Policy, I can see that this is set for moving to the archive after five years. Oh, okay. Now, so what happens in some cases is uh, a lot of Office 365 business accounts come pre-configured to move emails to the archive after two years. So if you notice that all of a sudden in some of your folders you don't have anything older than two years, mm. it's probably been moved to this in-place archive, or again, also called an online archive. So if we look in the in-place archive inbox, you can see I'm mostly seeing emails that are more than two years old. My policy used to be set for older than two years, now I set it for older than five. Gotcha. With the in-place archive and the online archive, uh, I'll also still find those if I do a search. So if I'm in the Outlook app, either the web app, the PC app, the Mac app, or one of the mobile apps, and if I do a search, it will search both my inbox and also the in-place archive. Got it. Uh, by the way, this can also be set up if your organization is a hybrid where it uses some functions in-house, like you have your own Exchange server, but other functions are on Office 365. Your in-place archive may be on your Exchange server and your organization still works the same way. Oh, okay. Now, just to keep things confusing, uh, in the Outlook desktop app for Windows, if your organization has not turned on the in-place archive, mm. you will still see an older function called Auto Archive. It does the same kind of thing, except instead of moving those emails to a cloud-based uh, archive storage, it moves them to a separate data file on that one PC. Uh -huh. So the downside is you can only access it from that one PC, 
if that PC is damaged or lost, you've lost those files forever. So there's a lot of reasons why we move to the in-place or the online archive instead. Okay. But hands down, the easiest and the most popular and the feature that I use most often is that archive function right up here. So anytime you've got an email that you're done processing, you need to keep it, but it doesn't need to go in a specific folder, don't be afraid to hit that archive button. Gotcha. And that puts it in that special folder in your inbox, but not in your in-place archive. Correct. Okay.